Another day, another Looker Studio tutorial, this time focusing on button and preset filter controls. Taken again from my ultimate guide to Looker Studio online course, available via the link in the description. Enjoy. Buttons can be added from the Add a Control menu here. You can see that in the Setup tab, they have three different options in terms of functionality. Let's discover them in turn, starting with navigation. When you use navigation, you have the choice of a static or dynamic link. Static links, as the name suggests, do not change. You simply insert a link by clicking here, then choose to either manually enter a specific URL or use one of the pre-built navigation functions in the list. First, I'll add google.com as the address. In view mode, I click the button and I get taken to google.com in a new tab, the option checked by default. Let's go back, delete that address and click again to bring up the other navigation options. You have first, previous, next and last. Then you can choose a specific page of the report. Here I'll choose page two. Go into view mode and when I click the button, I go to page two. So those are simple static links. Dynamic links are a bit more complicated. The first thing to know is that the dimension you add here must be a field containing URLs and its data type must also be URL. Here in Google Analytics, I have the full page URL dimension that as you can see has the URL data type. I also have the same dimension included in the chart query because the button's dynamic dimension works in tandem with the values in the chart. Let me show you. In view mode, when I make a selection in the chart, that selection is then passed to the button so that when I click it, it takes me to that specific URL. You can also choose to create a new URL field from here. So for example, if I have the country dimension in the chart and I'd like to add a button that allows me to Google search any country I select, I can simply create a new field like so that concatenates the base URL with the value selected in the country dimension. In view mode, I select a country, hit the button and you can see the result. Next up is report actions. There are four options, invite people, get report link, download report and reset filters. Now, because all of these are fairly self-explanatory, I'm not going to demonstrate them. I'll let you discover them for yourselves. However, I am going to show you the filter option here. Selecting this is the same as going to the add a control menu and selecting preset filter. You'll notice that we have a control field here. It's called a control field because it's going to be used to turn the filter on and off. It's two possible states. It therefore needs to be a field that returns a true or false Boolean value. We can easily create one by adding a new field and in our case, I'm going to write country equals United States. We'll also name our button USA. In view mode, when I click the button, it applies the country equals United States is true value and filters accordingly. Click it again and the filter is turned off. 